There are plenty of things in the PC enthusiast space that people love to argue about. AMD versus Nvidia. AMD versus Intel. AMD versus the 1980 US Olympic hockey team. Okay, but seriously, aside from these more practical concerns, aesthetics are just as important to many people with there being no real consensus as to what looks good. After all, what's tacky to one user might be Michelangelo's David to another. So in the past few years, many component manufacturers have decided, hey, why not just give people the ability to customize the look of their battle station on a whim by adding RGB lighting. The RGB craze mostly started out on keyboards and mice, but these days you can pick up motherboards, CPU coolers, and even RAM sticks that claim to offer millions of colors. But how does all of this work? And what features should you be looking for if you're gonna trick out your rig like the Griswold's Christmas tree? Well, if you think back to kindergarten, you might remember that the three primary colors that combine to form all the other colors are red, yellow, and blue. But this is true only for pigments. Light works a little differently, with the three primary colors of light being red, green, and blue, hence the name RGB. So when you fire up your favorite RGB device, what's happening is that separate red, green, and blue LEDs are lighting up at different intensities to produce different colors, as there currently isn't a single LED bulb that can cycle through different colors on its own. So there are a couple of different ways that you can see this principle in action. If you set your favorite RGB device to white, you might be able to see all three colored LEDs lit up if you look closely enough. This is the same reason that when you get a drop of water on your phone screen, you can see a rainbow-like effect on white spots. Neat, huh? But how do these devices adjust the brightness of each LED to produce the color you want? Well, usually RGB gadgets work with a technique called pulse width modulation, or PWM, which you can learn more about here. Although you might be more familiar with PWM as a way to control your fan speed in your computer, the same concept can control colored LEDs. So when you want to tell your control software, boom, I want yellow, it sends a signal to your device that tells both the red and green LEDs to light up and blue to sit down and shut up. And PWM also controls something called the duty cycle. Essentially, how long the light is on during each refresh. A shorter duty cycle means that specific color of LED will be dimmer. So if you want your keyboard to be a highlighter yellow sort of color, your green and red LEDs will have longer duty cycles, while your blue LEDs will have very short cycles or just be turned off completely. But depending on its implementation, especially if the LEDs are refreshing too slowly, using PWM control with equal parts of red, green, and blue to achieve white can result in a distracting rainbow effect, similar to what some people experience when watching a single chip DLP projector. To combat this, some manufacturers are introducing RGBW strips that have entirely separate white LEDs. But enough about the nuts and bolts. What should you actually look for when buying RGB gear? Well, perhaps unsurprisingly, this depends almost entirely on your personal preference, as long as you buy something of good quality. An important thing to research is what kinds of customization a certain RGB product offers, as many manufacturers bundle software that can control RGB effects, which may or may not be to your liking. Hardware solutions also exist, such as NZXT's Hue Plus, which serves as a central hub for your system's LED strips, and the RGB headers on certain motherboards, which provide similar functionality through software. To take things a step further, unified RGB ecosystems like Asus Aura and Razer Chroma are starting to become popular, allowing you to sync up RGB effects on your lighting strips, your motherboard, your memory, your fans, or even supported peripherals and room lighting. 
And considering that RGB LEDs can often be configured to change colors depending on important variables such as system temperatures, your perfectly harmonious RGB setup can actually be functional as well. Just make sure you don't go too crazy. Want to browse a more open internet and use online services as though you are in a different country, anonymously? Check out TunnelBear. They've got easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. They also have a Chrome extension and turning it on is as simple as clicking a button. Boom, there you go. Your bear tunnels your internet connection to a new location, which means two things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption and your public IP address gets switched. So you show up as though you're in a different country. And it lets you bypass all the annoying bull crap that usually comes with using a VPN for personal use. No port configurations, DNS, or other router settings. TunnelBear handles all of that stuff in the background. They've got a top-rated privacy policy, and the best thing is you can try TunnelBear with 500 megs of free data and no credit card required. Check it out at the link in the video description. And if you choose to get a year of unlimited, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com Linus. So thanks for watching guys, dislike or like, get subscribed and maybe leave a comment if you have suggestions for future fast as possible videos just like this one.